Hi, dear friends. Good evening to all of you. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So it's our immense pleasure to invite our UPC topper uh, to take a session for you. Today's will be uh, yeah, GS Main's answer writing strategy session. Uh, she will share her experience and uh, obviously will give you an idea on GS1, GS2, how to approach GS1, GS2 papers. Um, so uh, she has secured All India Rank 115 in UPC CSC 2021. So let's uh, start the session. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Sonia Kataria. I have uh, secured 115 uh, uh, rank this year. And uh, thank you very much for inviting me. I would, I this will be my pleasure to share my experience and some of the strategies which I have followed this time. Okay, uh, so uh, there are some common points for all the GS papers. First, I would like to tell you uh, in between, we'll be taking some of the points and I'll be showing you how all these points are very useful. First of all, like you know that uh, nowadays there is a lot of material available. So there is a genuine question in everybody's mind that uh, what should we follow and what should we read and what should we not. So first thing first thing is just stick to the syllabus. Whatever is written in the syllabus, you have to follow those points. Second, uh, the previous year questions are utmost important because uh, they'll tell you what is the trend nowadays going on on which themes are regularly asked by the UPSC and how can you understand the question? Third, most important thing is like whenever you will ask, ask somebody, uh, they will say that uh, they have written or attempted all the questions, but still they are not getting good marks. It's because we are not able to understand the demand of the question. See, uh, there is a demand of the question like what is asked. Nowadays, you must have seen that uh, there are many statement questions like four to five statements are given in a single question. So you have to understand actually what is being asked. Actually, there are two things. First thing is like uh, whatever is written in the question, it is important. But at that very moment, you have to understand how much space and how much content you have to devote to each and every statement later on i'll show you some questions for that also uh, next thing is structuring of the answer see uh, the thing is like uh, all of us know the same thing suppose you will be knowing uh, four uh, points for a question or i'll be knowing two or three points but the the difference is being created how do you use those points in your answer so structuring of your answer is very, very important. And the last thing is like the nowadays, the nature of the question papers is very dynamic. You can't be stick to like only economy questions will be there in GS3 only like this year gig economy and cryptocurrency were asked in GS paper one also. So nowadays there is a bit of dynamism which is being seen in the papers. So you have to learn how to use the concepts in various papers. Okay, now let's start with GS1. So in GS1, basically there are four uh, parts like culture, history, geography, and society. I have prepared some things uh, according to the topics. First of all, culture. Like in culture also, it is very difficult to uh, read and to attain or to memorize so many things in art and culture for pre also. So the same question comes for mains also. So for this first thing which we have to do is like look out the syllabus, like in syllabus specifically the mentioned topics are aspects of art forms, literature and architecture. So you have to learn or memorize these things only and moreover nowadays the questions which are being asked are more analytical than fa factual. They won't ask like uh, tell the forms of puppetry or medieval uh, medieval period uh, literature you have to tell everything no no they won't be asking that like in 2021 question was like evaluate the nature of bhakti literature and its contribution to Indian culture. So. Now, uh, on the uh, first side, you will be like, uh, they are asking about uh, bhakti literature. So you will fill your answer with bhakti literatures, like all the uh, vachans or kabirs, everything which you know. But they are not asking about, about specifically about the 
नेम्स ऑफ भक्ति लिटरेचर दे आर आस्किंग द नेचर ऑफ भक्ति लिटरेचर एंड इट्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो हाउ कैन यू अटेम लाइक नेचर इज लाइक यू कैन मेक सब टॉपिक्स इन द आंसर लाइक वॉट वॉज द लैंग्वेज स्पेसिफिकली द पीपल हु वर इन्वॉल्व वॉट वॉज द कनेक्टिविटी ओके लेटर ऑन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑल्सो यू कैन मेक पॉइंट टू एनरिच दिस आंसर और टू मेक दिस आंसर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर्स आंसर यू कैन मेक अ मैप ऑल्सो like uh, in india's map you can put like kabir belong to this space uh, this uh, region okay uh, write kabir there and in bracket you can write his contribution bijak and everything uh, same thing you can do with jammu kashmir or everything every place which you can remember so it will add a little bit of co- contribution it will add a little bit of more value to your, to your answer than others answers okay uh, second portion is history modern history uh post independent and uh, world history so uh, this is this one is a bit easy and uh, if you can just do previous year questions of this you will have a basic idea that uh, what portions are basically asked and how to answer these third is geography see uh, nowadays geography is uh, having a very high weightage in the exam for example in 2021 110 marker questions came from geography so you can't avoid or you can't leave this portion you have to read about it there are some types of questions which come in geography like uh, industry related question static questions disaster related and some issue based questions okay one thing i want to tell that uh, i won't be able to uh, see the uh, messages so if someone wants to add something or someone wants to tell something you can just uh, unmute your mic so we were discussing like some types of questions are coming like uh, industry based questions static from static geography disaster based and issue based okay industry based this is a very repetitive theme this this year also i think uh, it industry based questions came so you ha- you just have to prepare a basic note on industry based like what factors are there which are responsible and uh, moreover what is the recent trend in those industries something like that okay static is basically what what we learn from ncert and all and this disaster based is overlapped with the gs3 paper so what i would suggest is like for disaster based we can prepare something like for cyclones for landslides for earthquakes like uh, what are the factors what government is doing and uh, moreover recent incidents of those factors third is issue based this one is also a bit easy i i consider because this is overlapped with gs3 environment syllabus like climate change on climate change you can get a question or uh, water use or something like that let's see one more question in this part this year this question came despite india being one of the countries of gondwana land its mining industry contributes much less to the gdp in percentage discuss so now if you can see in this question the keyword here is discuss okay so whenever a question is there and it is saying discuss there is a large scope with whatever uh, what the content you can write and what uh, uh, headings you can make so what uh, i would suggest in this question like in it is written despite india being one of the countries of gondwana land so first you have to address this statement then mining industry contributes much less to gdp then you have to address this then discuss okay first in intro you have to write like uh, okay gondwana land that means so and so minerals are very well available in india okay you can substantiate this thing with a map also later on in body you have to make subheadings like what are the reasons that the contribution is much less in uh, india's gdp now you would also say that uh, we should add a statement about how much mining industry is contributing in india's gdp but why have i not included that statement in this because i myself was not knowing what is the gdp share of mining industry so sometimes it's okay if you do not know the data at least you can make your answer a bit more presentable with whatever content you have okay so the first heading which you should make in this uh, questions answer will be what are the reasons like reasons also you should break down what i do is like i do not write my points uh, in a statement i first give of every point i give a heading like i'll write what are the administrative reasons 
okay then what are the environmental reasons then what are the recent reasons for example in environmental reasons we can write it's very difficult to get the environmental clearances okay then later on uh, there are some social issues or are also there for example the pro protest from the locals uh, and uh, everything later on you can write recent Uh, reasons for example covid was there so a lockdown was there so mining industry was not at its pace later on okay map then later on you have to write what are the steps taken till now for example uh, you must have read in uh, economy portion of uh, current affairs like there is mines and mineral acts there have been many amendment to that act like uh, many licenses were there many licenses were uh, uh, liberalized also and the time period for for which a particular person can take that mining site into lease has been also changed moreover there has been that district mineral fund is also there some schemes are also there and r&d is also going on so this i am just giving you bullet points you have to make them a bit more informative and a bit more presentable for the Um, uh, evaluator also because everybody will be writing the same points so your copy should be like that you will be getting a bit half or one mark more in each question that will make 20 plus 20 for you and uh, in this exam you know that half or one mark makes a bit a huge difference so 20 is a very good uh, edge okay now what i want to say that in history culture or geography maps diagrams like uh, there is a trend nowadays that you have to make hub and spoke spoke, uh, spoke diagram and you have to substantiate every answer of yours with a particular diagram or flow chart or everything they are very useful and very good also they look very good but one thing it should be uh, uh, considered that those diagrams and maps should be relevant it's not like it shouldn't be like uh, you are writing the same thing and you are uh, writing the same thing and you are showing the same thing with uh, with this also uh, in your diagram also and second thing is like like in 10 marker question sometimes two or three demands of the questions are there so you should not uh, you should not draw the, those diagrams or map at the cost of demand of the question first priority should be to fulfill fulfill that demand okay later on uh, society is there in gs1 so for society society is a very high yielding topic in 2021 75 marks were given for society also now what is actually going on for, with society section is like the nature of the question is being changed like uh, earlier you must have seen that uh, the topics which are given in the syllabus are directly asked for example secularism or communalism or women related uh, questions were there but this time you must have seen that the questions were on cryptocurrency or gig economy so it's not like that we cannot write answers on these questions but for these questions we can surely but it looks a bit of setback like uh, uh, what should we write how should we make our answer more society like and not economy like that thing is there so what needs to be done it's like first we have to read the syllabus read as per syllabus whatever is given in the syllabus just read that, that much what is the meaning of those that terms what are the causes or what steps are taken or what uh, suggestions you can give later on the second most important thing is uh, what i have also i had also done uh, last year like i wrote all the previous year questions of society how it helped was like uh, it acted as my notes only because it helped me to understand the question later on when i was writing after four or five questions i was realizing that i am writing the same same content in every question so it acted like notes for me so it was not needed for me to make separate notes for society so pyqs uh, you should write later on uh, for society what is there is like uh, society should have a bit of touch ground reality touch 
for this we have to enrich our answers with examples for example if uh, women related something comes and if you want to show patriarchy also then try to write some some examples in that apart from okay sex ratio and dowry and everything try to write some more examples like whatever examples we prepare for gs4 paper and essay paper we can use those examples here also and uh, next thing is like our answer should be multi dimensional multi dimensional means that uh, uh, we should explore many things for example there are many different ways to write an answer in multi multi dimensional way for example uh, one thing we can do is like uh, we can use like politically administratively we can use these types of headings second thing is like for society we can uh, we can uh, touch the different sections of society for example women okay then vulnerable sections okay uh, old sections senior citizen sections children what is the effect on children okay third thing is like suppose a question comes on women now for women like some impact or what what was the impact of so and so thing on women or something like that so that question can also be tackled in many ways like first thing is like you can show the impacts on legislature what was the impact on legislature like women participation in legislature okay later on in labor also so the same thing political impact okay and then economic impact then social impacts second thing is lifestyle or a lifeline type of thing it's like uh, women infant okay adolescent adult like this also we can tackle so the answer should be multi dimensional and it is very easy to know and to get how to write multi dimensional answer if you'll practice pyqs okay later on uh, let's discuss one question uh, okay this question what is cryptocurrency how does it affect global society has it been affecting indian society also so according to me what were the demands of the question i think this question was of 50 marks so first first of all what is cryptocurrency we have to write what do we mean by cryptocurrency now second thing is how does it if affect global society now when you'll read this question cryptocurrency the first thing which will come into your mind will be like okay uh, terrorism and all black money and all and all the economy related or security related aspects will be coming into your mind but this question came into gs1 paper so the same thing multi dimensional answer should be there okay so the impact on global society economic we are very well aware then the social also how can you write social also because cryptocurrency in a way is increasing the gaps of haves and haves not have nots that means it is increasing the inequality which was already prevalent in the society security also we can write later on one more aspect which we can write is global village related like uh, in india also this vasudev kutumbakam concept prevails and in all over uh, this thing also world also so we can write that cryptocurrency is uniting uh the global society it is actually making the world into global village because cryptocurrency is like transnational transactions can be held with this okay so like there is a concept in india na, nowadays uh, that one nation one ration card one nation one election so it will be like one world one currency type of thing so cryptocurrency is making the world into a global village rest the second thing which is has been asked is has it been affecting indian society also so the demand here is has and also that means that you can write yes and no if you are writing yes uh, it uh, indian society is being affected then you have to write how then the same thing you have to show many uh, many examples or many you have to give arguments that how indian society is being affected second thing is it has asked also that means you have to write no also that no or no or the more appropriate term here will be that indian society is being affected in a limited extent how limited extent you can be like a limited extent because there have been many regulations from rbi and central government also 
moreover you can write like uh, there uh, the financial literacy or the internet penetration or smartphone use is comparatively very less in india also in india so these are some of the reasons why the why the uh, influence of cryptocurrency is limited in india so i guess this question should have been written in this way okay now one more question was asked this year like how does indian society maintain continuity in traditional social values and enumerate the changes taking place so if you'll read this question once it will be like uh, the same question can be asked in gs4 also so but how will you answer this question will be changed in gs1 and in gs4 like uh, in this in this uh, question i think what we should use is like we should use the syllabus terms moreover like if uh, secularism is asked okay uh, what is the change in secularism nowadays what are the changes taking place like there has been with the recent covid pandemic uh, like uh, deglobalization was there or more or more privatization is happening or liberalization is happening and you have to use diverse examples in this like uh, in liberalization you can write that many industries were there which were earlier under government control but now government is letting private sector there is a uh, more and more uh, more and more steps being taken towards ppp model or something like means the example should be from diverse field you have to substantiate your answer uh, from diverse field to enrich your answer and uh, again the same thing society is means according to me also this is a easy topic and uh, nowadays more and more questions are coming from this so just a little bit of the structuring and knowing the demand of the question can yield very good marks in this okay this was about gs1 from my side uh, is the pace okay or should i slow down a bit it's fine ma'am okay 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 now something about gs2 okay so gs in gs2 also there are multiple topics for example polity governance constitution ir social justice many topics are there so according to me the main source for P, uh, gs2 is previous year questions because from previous year questions only you'll come to know that there are many themes which are being repeated uh, continuously for example cbi questions are there or parliamentary committee questions are there or self help group questions are there these are regularly and regularly these are uh, repeated for example in 2021 a question came on asia and africa this africa question was already there in 2020 so it came this time also if you will see the trend across the previous years you will know that uh, once a question is asked on rpa act later on about a specific section of that rpa act will be asked so you will know that see one thing is there that there are a lot of topics you have to prioritize what sh you should uh, study first and, and there will be some topics which you won't be able to study or you won't be able to revise because of the usual constraints or memory constraints or time constraints we have so to decide the priority we should analyze the trend which is coming in pyqs even if you are not able to write all the pyqs also then according to me what you should do is like just read those pyqs and uh, prepare a rough structure with pencil on everything like in intro i'll write about this in body i'll write this and with i'll conclude with this so that uh, this thing won't be like won't be visible immediately but in exam it will be reflected when it will be very easy for you to understand the question uh if just one thing i want all of you to do is like after the session you just go and look the 2021 paper and just try to understand what the question is asking then uh, you you'll see yourself that how matlab uh, it's like the something else was asked in the question and something else like once a question came it was like ki china is doing something something in south china sea now tell us what's the effect on india so just with the first side is what like okay china is doing something in south china sea what will be the effect on india and that too specifically i think 
I don't know. I don't remember. Actually, it was economic effect was asked or something else was asked. So immediately while sitting in the exam hall, when you will be feeling time constraint also, it will be very difficult for a student to decode what has been asked. So if you'll prepare this beforehand, it will be very beneficial at that time. Okay. So the same thing and it will be very helpful for IR and social justice. Okay, now the thing is like, uh, what should be the main source of GS2? So apart from the basic material, the main source of GS2 should be like current, current affairs, whatever means current affair you are following, you can do that. Second thing is like for governance, I have also done this for governance like society. I did all the previous years and the same, same thing was there. Same observation was there that uh, the same content I was having. I have to structure my answer in such a way that uh, the content was looking suitable or relevant for that question. So you can do previous year questions and later on can enrich, enrich those questions with the current material. For example, if some new app has been launched, like Parivesh portal has been launched. Okay. You can write that as an example in governance, for example, uh, to for transparency or accountability in anything. You can write that example. You can enrich like this. Then for uh, international relations, the same thing, current affairs are very important. And second thing, like I have given you South China Sea uh, example, that question also. First, you have to understand the demand of the question. And second thing is draw diagram. And the same, the same logic goes here also. If you just see that the diagram is relevant here. For example, if a question is asking solely about uh, SCO, Shanghai Corporation, then it's very good to draw the diagram. But you yourself know that the question is not solely on SCO, it is asking something else related to SCO or something else. Then just give that diagram a little bit space. Don't fill the whole page or half page with that diagram. Just try to uh, write as many points as you can in that answer. Okay, then social justice. Uh, for social justice, I don't think that we have to devote as such specific time or material for that because social justice will be cover, covered with society section of GS1 and with the ethics, somewhat with ethics also because we'll be reading uh, some schemes and some examples in ethics also. And for social justice also, it is very, very important to, to uh, just analyze the previous year questions and if you can just solve those previous year questions. Okay, I want to just discuss with you all this question. This came in 2021. Okay, though women, this is of social justice only, though women in post-independent India have excelled in various fields, the social attitude towards women and feminist movement has been patriarchal. Apart from women education and women empowerment schemes, what interventions can, can help change this? trend okay now on means you can just say that the uh, actual question is this okay because this is a statement given and this is the actual question but it is not like that this is this is the actual question this is the demand of the question but as i have said that every each and every term which is given in the question is important and at that time only you have to decide that how much space you will be dedicating to each and everything for example in intro we can we can address this thing that women in post independent india have excelled we can present a data or something like that that how the women are doing in this field we can write some examples also or we can draw a diagram also like uh, in science field this is the scientist okay in defense this one is there in the uh, medical field these women are there Okay, then this part is addressed later on in body part, like it is said, the social attitude towards women and feminist movement has been patriarchal. So you have to show that how the attitude is patriarchal, how the attitude towards women and feminist movement has been patriarchal. For example, obviously there is low representation there is lower representation in parliament also in judiciary also so if you are making women related schemes and women are not at all sitting there so how will you be getting that perspective so lower, lower representative can be a point 
later on there are some hidden patriarchal issues are there see the thing is like it is very easy to solve those things which are visible but how will you how will you observe or how will you even uh, even tackle those issues which are not even hidden for example like there are some things which are going on in day to day lives uh, like uh, there is a saying may the best man win okay i am not saying that this is wrong or something else but th- this type of things are hidden patriarchy so this thing also can be written third is economic independence here you can put ilo labor organization data or unpaid labor for example that is like uh, uh, for a women it is like uh, around 6.5 hours per daily of unpaid labor and for a man it's like 30 minutes so economic independence that is why the attitude is patriarchal why because women are not able to raise their voice one thing is like no one can be socially empowered uh, until and unless he or she is not economically empowered so this thing can be written and many reasons can be written second thing is like you can draw a diagram why because it is written apart from women education and women empowerment schemes what interventions can help uh, the change so the diagram can be like uh, you can show that women education okay the what is the present situation like uh, what is the literacy rate and all and what are the schemes for women education and the schemes also you can uh, diverse like uh, beti bachao beti padhao is there in stem field is also there like in kiran scheme is there about uh, scholarships and all and second thing is empowerment schemes are asked okay empowerment scheme so empowerment can be social empowerment social right you can write triple talaq and everything okay later on her- heritance rights are also there uh, social economic labor related also so you can just diverse these schemes also now the part of the question which is what interventions can help so now you can write the interventions what else can we do okay that that uh, what else interventions are there should also be bifurcated for example on administrative level what we can do on political level what we can do on individual level means on social level what can a family do and what can an individual do you can bifurcate this so means everybody must be knowing whatever i have told you here but how you present your answer how you arrange your thoughts is very important there because uh a person will be checking many copies so what what extra thing you are having in your answer will help you in fetching more and more marks and uh, okay like i have told you in this that you have to address this thing this thing this thing also this you can get when you will practice a bit more previous year questions so this is about gs2 so this is all which i have to tell you good evening ma'am good evening uh ma'am can you share some of the answer gs1 and 2 so that we can have a look and we can write accordingly after this session okay okay yeah i'll try to find out because i have not written any uh, answers in any institute but whatever i'll be having i'll try to share those yes ma'am and second thing ma'am like uh, in uh, like every question if we uh, write a similar point like uh, administrative uh, and this uh, pastoral form like uh, in women case also uh, yes. women case or uh, some other corruption issues will it not be repetitive and some monotonous type like uh, administratively we can do this uh, uh, socially we should do this like that or we have to make uh, some changes uh. yeah yeah that is what i was telling you like when you'll see the whole paper na you'll see that these questions are coming from polity section these are governance section so from uh, society or social justice five to six questions are only there and uh, for women only one or two questions will be there so you can follow different approaches this is just one thing if you want to start you can start from this later on you yourself will be having many different sub topics or many different structures to give okay uh, i need to ask ma'am like uh, sometimes we can write uh, these headlines separately like uh, administratively we can do this or otherwise we can uh, take the same administrative or political step without writing headline or we can uh, means uh, suffice the same in the uh, like uh, writing a one or two lines like that yeah it's will be fine 
it's totally dependent on you it's nothing wrong is there but just one thing is like uh, what i follow it's, it's like reverse psychology na if someone is evaluating your paper if you are making that person's work easy okay he is saying okay economic okay then this thing you yourself you should write two different answer first you will put the headings and in second you are not supposed to put you will see the difference in both of these and nothing wrong is there it's not like that the person who is separately giving the headings is getting more marks and the person who is not giving it he is not getting both will be getting good marks so it's totally dependent on you if you want to write if you are comfortable then you write just i am just i have just shared this because this was my way of style my way of writing hello ma'am ma'am uh, uh, excuse me ma'am hello hello ma'am hello 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 yeah i can hear you ma'am is it uh, really essential to substantiate with flow charts diagrams and maps because uh, when i wrote ma- means i really faced the time constraint to complete the paper so will it not constrain us like if we are focusing more on that kind of uh, uh, content yeah means it is like it is quality enrichment that the same thing i told you if you are if you are able to fulfill the demand of the question then it's okay if you are not uh, not drawing diagrams and everything but it is quality enrichment it will fetch you half or one mark more than the other person and if you are facing time constraint it's like uh, you have to uh, you have to give or dedicate 7 mark 7 minutes for a 10 marker question and 10 minutes for a 15 marker question if you want to practice you can just practice like just uh, have your uh, stopwatch in front of you 7 minutes over by any how you have to turn your page you have to go to second question see the thing is like the problem or the issue this time issue which we face is specifically due, uh, is uh, because of the thing like uh, we are more into perfection we just think that we should do everything in our answer like data should also be there or supreme court cases should also be there and everything should also be there but one practical thing is like we are not we will not be able to memorize or recall everything there so if you want to practice or if you want to overcome this time issue just try to do like 7 minutes turn your page 10 minutes turn your page okay right ma'am can you share the content which you explained today the uh, word format the file if possible yeah. yeah i'll share that for our reference thank you ma'am thank you uh, ma'am yes um uh, ma'am how to improve the structure ma'am while writing answers uh, i was used to write a monotonous same uh, type ma'am i couldn't uh, come up with a variation in structure for every answer so can you help me ma'am okay for this you can just go through topper's answer copy just before starting any gs paper just go through topper's answer copy how that person first just you uh, make a mental diagram how will you answer that and just see the topper's answer copy how that person has written some things you okay. can just take from that that copy and you can just implement like i have told you like in women if something is coming you can uh, life approach you can follow okay infant or child or uh, adolescent young age everything like that you can follow that thing some, some things i am telling you some things you can take from topper's copy and the rest of the thing you will be getting on your own okay ma'am okay ma'am um, ma'am uh, i am ma'am one more thing ma'am um while uh, writing answers ma'am i used to i am using a lot of sentences to define a small thing ma'am uh, it's like a, 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 taking a lot of time is, ma'am is it a possible to i mean acquire a kind of a crispy way of you know uh, deriving a, a thing using very small sentences because i used to write a lot three more sentences or extra to you know to uh, to come up with a definition uh, is it uh, possible to have a you know crispy way of you know uh, Uh, writing in a definition so we can save a time or we can you know uh, express the meaning of that uh, definition yes yes uh, means you see the thing is like just after writing just read all those three four sentences what whatever you have written sometimes it's like the the thing which we are conveying is just a small thing but we are just writing everything we we do make notes na just try to make notes there 
write short short sentences only there just try to write in seven right like uh, today i'll be writing this answer in 10 minutes only try to complete that answer in 10 minutes when you will be feeling time constraint in front of you then you yourself will be writing lesser lesser uh, words for that if you okay. want to practice otherwise practice then just after writing just the very important thing is like apart from doing pyqs or apart from reading topers copy and everything is like reviewing your own answers yourself today whatever you have written just try to revisit those after 2 3 days like today also will you be writing the same thing then just try to improve yourself like this is not uh, looking good i have uh, i have read the same answer of that student but he has written like that just try to compare and try to improve like that okay ma'am okay ma'am uh, ma'am uh, how to improve the vocabulary ma'am um, uh, usually i used to write the same words in the uh, question like a, uh, like a crisis of words i had didn't have a proper you know words like how to use uh, you know multiple words i mean vocabulary development ma'am and according to me means there is no issue if you are using the same words until and unless you are just conveying the thing which the question is asking it's okay, okay. means if you'll read the syllabus you'll see that they are not asking for vocab it's okay it's okay if you are using that thing only and and that day at that very moment you will you, yourself see that the simple words which you think that these are very simple i should improve on those or if you'll improve today also you won't be able to recall that day because at the end of the day you'll write whatever thing which is in your practice so okay. instead of uh, means i i can you are talking to me very well so i can just say that you'll you'll you must be having a very good vocab also so we do not need that flurry or that too much or that type of vocabulary here so it's okay okay someone has asked if i have done daily answer writing means yes before the last attempt i have done uh, some answer writing of uh, every uh, f of every uh, topic means the answer writing was not for like uh, i am writing just by recalling whatever i know the answer writing was mainly open book type of the thing because i have to know or i have to understand the demand of the question first if you know the how to address or how to observe or how to decode the question it will be very easy so yes i have done daily answer writing and uh, means notes no for some topics i have my notes but for some to topics i haven't prepared like for society i have some notes and uh, the the answers which i have written work for notes but for some topics i do not have Yeah, for IR, as I told you, like you can uh, prepare IR from the current affairs material, whichever you will be reading this time. Or if you are preparing for further attempts, you can just prepare short notes or for every country, like for neighboring countries also, some short notes can be there for WTO for organizations. But whatever current affairs material you are reading, that is sufficient. Um, post independent. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hanji, you are asking about post independence. Yes, ma'am. Please uh, reference book. Reference me. Like you must have seen like for post independence and world history, not many questions were coming. After so many questions, after so many years, this time only twenty twenty one. Post independence. a question came on post independence and world history so uh, no need to give so much of time or separate book for this whatever notes which you have of your coaching or uh, anything whatever sh short notes which you have just to fulfill the basic demand just to fulfill the basic uh, syllabus which is given just do that no need to go for separate book for post independence or world history okay if you if we do not have any doubts for gs1 and gs2 then shikha wants to ask something about botany hello ma'am am i audible hello okay 
okay it's okay shikha if some issue is going on with your mic we can take your doubts later on okay i think we shall uh, wind it up thank you so much sonia for this wonderful session it was really insightful thank um, you. and uh, <clears throat> we will have another session on gs3 and gs4 on another day so thanks to all of you for attending the session and uh, once again we would like to uh, thank you so much for this uh, uh, like uh, spending this much time with us thank you sonia thank you sir thank you everyone